noticing he removed a Glock gun case. But it wasn't the case that caused the suspicion in the first place. Right. It was the overwhelming stench of something rotten oh, coming from the trunk area. What the f***? So this nigga homie riding around with his dead body in the f trunk and got into an accident and the only reason they even searched the trunk is because it stank like rotten ass. Because he riding around with his dead homie, it was homie dead in the back in the trunk. What the f*** kind of weird shit bro on? These exotic boys, smoke exotic ox. You ain't heard about murder boys, we got exotic locks. Tied to pull up real fast, Ugh, with a lot of shots. Bitch, I'm feeling just like Mac, I got a lot of guac. Mulak! Gang, what y'all on? It's your boy Mac Mula, aka Mr. Mula Mac. I'm back with another video. Y'all know how we rockin', man. Cloud stocking, man. Keep the cushion in my pocket, man. Listen, check it out before I get into the video. Make sure y'all smash that thumbs up button. Hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. Follow your boy on Instagram if you have not already subscribed to the rest of my channels. The links are in the description. Make sure y'all shop my clothing line, man. They already got US. Hey, man, we got the end of the year sale going on right, right now. Like, literally, right now. Why? Because it's the end of the year. <laughs> End of the year sale, dog. Come on. One, two, one plus one is two. It's crazy. Yeah, we got an end of the year sale going on right now, man. So get down there. Get your drip for the low ski. Let's get it, man. Shout out to 1090 Jake for providing us with this nice, 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 nice content. You did hear me? Ski. And, uh, yeah, let's get into the vid. Ski. Ryan Trotter, a 25-year-old rapper from Triangle, Virginia, was last seen October 17th, 2020, leaving his home on his way to Washington, D.C. Mm. with a friend to take photographs. Mm. Shortly after leaving, a post was made on social media indicating Trotter owed an individual a large sum of money, and mm. the author stated, I'm going to get mine. Oh. Trotter had a cell phone when leaving, but ceased all communication with family and friends. A former Virginia high school athlete Brian was also known as Kent Won't Stop, and he okay. was trying to make his way into hip hop in the hopes of achieving a career through music, according to family and friends. Right. His friend of more than 10 years, Robert Coltrane, had drove from a town 30 miles outside of DC, right. where he lived with his father, right. to pick up Brian from his house in Virginia. Right. Robert knocked on the door. Brian's this seems like one of them stories where it's gonna be like some weird shit that's gonna be hard to put together and like that like this ain't like some crazy father noticing he was reluctant to talk to him saying he was acting really strange mm. that he usually comes in the house this time he was real distant and nervous right antsy they both said they were on their way to dc the father assuming it was for promotional photos for their music right the father and son embracing the last thing he recalled saying to his son was i love you Brian's family would never see him alive again. God damn. When he failed to return home, his family filed a missing persons report, repeatedly calling his friend Robert. Right. He told them conflicting stories, saying he dropped them off and another friend picked them up. Friends and family posting pleas for help on social media, a Facebook page even created to help find Brian. Sunday afternoon, October 25th, Florida Highway Patrol was dispatching oh, a crash on the Palmetto Expressway near Northwest 154th Street by Miami Lakes. Right. The car was a silver Acura and had been driving north when it got into an accident on the rain-soaked highway. Right. The car was towed to the parking lot of Hialeah's Westland Mall so troopers could investigate. Once there, troopers became suspicious when Robert asked to get his belongings from the Acura noticing he removed a Glock gun case. But it wasn't the case that caused the suspicion in the first place. Right. It was the overwhelming stench of something rotten oh. coming from the trunk area. What the f Hold on, y'all, before we get back into the video, because we finna get right back into it. I gotta tell y'all about the Moolah membership. The Moolah membership is a website that I started a few years ago. Since I started this website, I have been able to put on so many of y'all, and I want you to be the next person to get put on. I'm gonna give you instructional videos, step-by-step -step instructions. I'm literally giving you lessons out weekly, daily, for you to understand these different categories. We're talking about business, financial literacy, credit. Crypto, we're talking about stocks, we're talking about Amazon, we're talking about dropshipping, we're talking about YouTube. I'm literally giving you the gems to be a boss, the gems to be a successful entrepreneur in 2023. So this is all you have to do. Click the link in the description, sign up right now for the low, low price of $50 a month, bro. 
$50 a month, you're gonna get access to a one-on-one -on -one help with me. You're gonna get access to my group chats where my experts worldwide work around the clock, 24 seven, to make sure you have the best stock and crypto call outs. That means all you gotta do is buy the same stocks and cryptos that I'm buying and make some of the all this bread. Very simple, very easy on Broke Stop waiting, stop procrastinating, click the first link in the description right now, especially if you wanna be a boss. And if you dead serious, man, if you wanna put that work in and get that money on, I'm talking about that easy money on, click that link in the description, shorty, right now, cause we only got 2,000 spots and I would hate to see you be missed out, okay? Hold on, bro. West 154th Street by Miami Lakes. The car was a silver Acura and had been driving north when it got into an accident on the rain-soaked highway. The car was towed to the parking lot of Hialeah's Westland Mall so troopers could investigate. Right. Once there, troopers became suspicious when Robert asked to get his belongings from the Acura. So Robert is this nigga. That's, always, that's his homie. So this nigga homie riding around with his dead body in the f trunk? And got into an accident, and the only reason they even searched the trunk is because it's stank, like rotten ass. Because he riding around with his dead home, it was homie dead in the back in the trunk. What the fuck kind of weird shit, bro? On? You ain't even just smoking, gang. You was smoking, put a dead body in a trunk. What kind of weird nigga is you, sir? The fuck? That ain't no right. That ain't, that ain't, that ain't, that ain't. I'm disturbed, folks. Noticing he removed a Glock gun case. But it wasn't the case that caused the suspicion in the first place. And then you're going to come back and come can I get my belongings? of something rotten coming what? from the trunk area. A smell so strong that heavy downpour had no effect on it at the initial accident site. Right. Flies visible. Oh, flies visible. The car oh. And inside. Opening the trunk, troopers found a body oh. wrapped in a piece of fabric. And in an advanced stage of decomposition, oh, Robert then making a spontaneous statement saying the victim was a male. At police headquarters, Robert refused to speak with Miami-Dade detectives who took over the investigation. He was allowed to call Brian's sister though, and as detectives listened in, he apologized, saying Brian had died in his hometown, what Triangle, Virginia. Fuck? Inside of the car, investigators discovered a 45 caliber Glock pistol right. believed to be the weapon that killed Brian, right. whose cause of death from the autopsy report was Gunshot multiple wound. gunshots to the torso. Right. Evidence showed he'd been shot at least one time inside of the vehicle, mm. with multiple shell casings found that were tested and confirmed and to have been fired got. by the same gun. Robert got. then drove 14 deal. hours with his friend of 10 years decomposing inside of his car. That's f***ed up. Detectives are still trying to find a motive. Brian's father saying no one can understand what happened, only hoping police can shed light on what made a friend of 10 years ten commit year an act friend. like that. 10 year friend. Just finna pick, get, imagine you finna, just finna get picked up by your homie, you know this nigga 10 years. Just finna get picked up by your homie and go to DC, ride real quick, you feel me? Instead, folks do a, he, he smoke you and do a 14 hour drive with your dead body in the trunk, gang. And I don't even know how long before he got caught. Cause they said it was in an advanced stage. Of, like that don't happen overnight, I don't think. I'm pretty sure it take like a little bit of time, a few days for that to start like, you feel me? Robert Coltrane was arrested and booked into the Miami Day jail without bond Monday. Charged with second degree murder and illegal yeah, transportation no of human remains. That's Even up. though the murder allegedly took place in Virginia, he will face He's prosecution in Miami. In Miami. Yeah. Now this sounds like another YNW Melly case. I don't know what it is with Florida rappers um, or just rappers coming to Florida now, driving around with bodies in the car. Something about it, something but wrong it's crazy. Florida, and man, nobody knows what the motive is. Nobody knows what would make him do this. But to sit inside of a car as a body is decomposing and smell that shit. Yeah, he on some like he. I just thought. Uh, I just thought about it. You riding around with that stank in the trunk, man? Rest in peace, the bro. I'm. I, I, you know, I ain't trying to be disrespectful. But you, but you riding around with the stank dead body in the trunk, and you, and you, you want me to think it? You, he something wrong with that motherfucker, man? I, I was looking at his picture. It looked like something wrong with his. He on that shit. Stank, you know, the body is releasing fluids, right. gases, farting, 
It's disgusting, and I'm not sure how someone can sit inside of a vehicle knowing that that's happening. But not that only that, normal, bro. It's someone you've known for ten years. You right. were just with this man's family. Right. You watched him hug his father. Right. We don't know if he did it. If as he saw them embrace, he's thinking to himself, you know, this is the last time they're gonna hug. We don't know that. We don't know who killed him. Right. All we know is he was found in the car. Right. The gun was found in the car. Right. And we got this guy that's arrested. Right. And I listened to his music. It was weird because a lot of the titles and captions he puts on Instagram, it's like Christian type mm. music or right. Christian phrases. But then, you know, a couple of times in the songs, we'll talk about an op or shooting something. Okay. But you can tell by looking at his page. Yeah, he wasn't like no hardcore. He wasn't like... in that lifestyle. Yeah, yeah, he wasn't yeah. putting on right. the gangster image. You right. know, everybody wants to talk about dirties and having ops and right, right, this, right. that, and the third, smoking on this pack, that pack. But that's just because people want to do what's popping at the time. People want to copy what is getting the views? What is getting the attention? Right. That's what the rappers are going to do. If this one says this shit and it's sliding, right. everybody's going to start doing it. Right. But nothing from the music he put out, Made it seem like from the pictures, the videos of him that I've seen, and like, yeah. portrayed an image right, right, right. that would normally gain this type of violence. You know, it's... You're less sympathetic when you see a gangster rapper talking about killing. Yeah, exactly. Get killed because you feel like he almost brought it upon right. himself. Yeah, this what that's the with energy you're shit. putting out. Right. That's the energy that came back. Most people are gonna be like, eh, "Well, it's fun watching it." You know what yeah, I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But to see someone that isn't giving off any of those vibes, and then you have the mysterious post that was made saying he owed someone money. That could have been put up just to throw people off. That yeah, could have been right. 100% fake. Right. I don't know. But I love doing these little true crime videos because it's a f***ing mystery that I get to piece by piece put together as I stay on top of the court records yeah, that's and crazy. see what new information they're putting out. But, hey, it's 1090 J. I'm rocking yeah. Crazy. I, I wonder what did happen, folks. Like, y'all let me know if y'all know something about this case right here on Phone on Gray. Like, what did they end up, like, sentencing folks and shit like that? I might look it up my himself because, God, damn. He got to be, but still, he, I don't know. He, I think he killed them, folks, because any type of nigga you got to be to ride around with his dead body in your trunk while it's stinking. And, you, like, you know, you are, you got to be some type of sick in the head to do that. Like, even if that was your homie, if you didn't do it, like, are you right? I'm not doing that. So I don't <laughs> Rest in peace to bro though, man.